In this video, I am going to show you that if you are migrating your WordPress website or maybe taking the backup and uploading to a new server, so at that moment you might have heard about the plugin name all in one WP migration, but that is paid version. I will be showing you that how you can use it for free. So you have no need to worry about. I will be sharing you the plugin because uh, if I am uploading somewhere, then maybe uh, there is a copyright strike. But I will show you the trick that how you can increase the uh, file size. Why? Because is in most of the cases, if you are installing the latest version and you are trying to migrate, so at that moment you will uh, be fi finding a small issue issue that you are not allowed to uh, allowed to upload or maybe uh, import or export or maybe take the uh, backup of your website if your file size is this much so if your file size is like uh, in gb for example your project is uh, around 10 gb so at that moment uh, you have to think about the solution and the solution is which i am going to show you in this video so i have two websites here which are both are wordpress website uh, one is mrdigitals.com and one is keywords.com i am going to take the backup in uh, mr digitals and then after i will be installing it into the uh, keywords.com so first of all you need to install that plugin which i have so here we have the plugins then we have add new but keep in mind that never ever trust on any other plugin why because in most of the cases people are selling those plugins and they are creating the virus into your websites all right so here we have the upload plugin click on choose then we have this plugin install it in the same way i am also going to upload it in the second website click on add new then we have upload plugins, choose plugin, all in one WP migration, and then click on install. Once that is installed, then you need to click on activate plugin. So in the same way, uh, in this website, you also need to activate this one. And finally, what you have to do is, uh, let me show you what customization I have done in that. So this is all in one WP migration. So here I have written, uh, the guide which is like install this old version of plugin if you want to increase the size then you can go to plugins all in one WP migration constants.php so where is that here is the plugin folder inside of it we have constant.php and I have opened that and here you need to find this specific word which is ai1 wm underscore max underscore file underscore size so i just copied and i'm going to search in this file control f or maybe window f the command f you will find this specific keyword here and here you need to write this uh, file size so this is basically 40 gb if you are interested to increase that size you can add multiple zeros here all right but for now i have made it 40 gb so this is enough for uh, my uh, project all right so once you will be saving these changes then after you need to uh, do the other stuff so you will no more able to find any error so here i have this website and i am scrolling it down here we will be having all in one wp migration click on export all right once you are clicking on export then you will be getting this option export to and then we have file so you will have to wait for a while until this is uh, exporting and then after we will uh, download actually this is retrieving all those files which are inside the wordpress website and once this is 100 percent then we will able to uh, download uh, this specific portion so here you can see that download mrdigitals.com here we have the size if that is in gb then that's okay you will not face any issue why because currently i have increased up to 40 gb then you need to click on this download button and this will start downloading all right so once that is downloaded then we will resume the video for the other things so finally this is downloaded successfully here you can see the file this is the file which we have downloaded which is 451 mb now we need to upload it in the second website which is this one so finally we download it and let me cl click on close if you are going to backups 
then you will find that uh, that specific backup is also created over here so you want you can click on here anytime and download it but i already downloaded so you have no need to worry about now we are going to uh, upload it into the second file uh, second website this is my second website i have already installed all in one wp migration plugin now i need to go to all in one wp and then we have to import click on import and here we need to see that maximum upload file size is 40 gb this actually i have added in the plugin so that's why this is showing it so let's uh, drag and drop that specific uh, plugin here uh, that specific backup here so this was the backup I am going to drag and drop it here. So now it will be importing into my second server. So in the same way you should follow the steps. So let's wait for a while until this is uh, uploaded successfully 100%. Now here it is saying that you can click on proceed or maybe close. So actually if you are proceeding this that means the whole database and the front end would be overwritten with the latest backup which we have just imported all right but for now i am not interested in why because uh, i have already the different website so i am not interested to uh, proceed this let's close it and then after if you are clicking on backups uh, this is not over here why because uh, we have directly imported it but if you want you can also uh, upload the backup and then after publish it like the way which we did just now so this is really simple if you are thinking you have any problem with this and you need this plugin you can actually contact me i will be adding contact details below in the description but this is a this is a humble request that please don't trust on everybody because in some cases people are just giving you uh, the plugins which may, uh, which may have the virus so at that moment you have you should not trust on them better is that if you have any old plugin then you can you can do the customization like i uh, said before like uh, here i have the following steps that you should replace this uh, whole line i mean you should uh, change these values and accordingly you will uh, increase the size in the old plugin specifically but in the latest latest plugins they have actually made this uh, uh, made this thing paid all right so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video if you are new on this channel please subscribe this channel